Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sutton to Glory, episode 7. Yeah, that is 7. It's deflected in! It's 2 1! Alistair Smith! Oh, he's in! Messi's in! Oh, you're seeing him. That might be an opportunity for Lee Angle. He's gone for Ongo. He's definitely on time. Oh, it's on me! I'm going to show you the team and what it's looking like now um, and then we'll literally go straight into it right there we go then this is the team at the start of this season and as I said Serjan will be coming straight in and he has he's overtaken Barkley positions I'd like to improve on in this window we've got to realistically find someone to replace Bulendi we need a better goalkeeper Giordano as well did very well last season but I think we need an upgrade and maybe someone and you know a superstar in the midfield to help us get to that mid table spot um, is yeah it's really what we need but the bench is looking all right I could also do with some more depth on the bench but I don't think that's the main priority at the moment transfer budget of 46 million oh let's go that's class next season I know it's gonna be a lot more as well if um, if we can do well in the Premier League. First signing of the episode, James Trafford is joining us from Manchester City for 12 million. He will be our number one keeper at the age of 24. He's 79 rated. Still has hopefully a lot of growth. He's 80 rated in fact. Scout said he was 70, even better. He will go straight in. Bulendi will go then onto the bench. Second signing of the season, Unai Lopez joins as a free agent at, in the CDM role. Obviously we get an A. 76 rated, he should slip right into the team. Another signing in which I've actually paid, Keo Enrique joins from Stade de Reim for 25 million. He only got to see, but you know, he's 84 rated, he's 29 years old, uh, but he, you know, he's gonna fit right in. Got good pace, good passing, good dribbling, good defending. Looks like he'll be a real, real, real asset. Let's get this match underway then against Norwich. Here we are, first Premier League game as Sutton United. It's a big, very big moment. He clearly is not the man to um, to be our number one. That's the, the end of a very disappointing game. David De Gea on a two-year contract as a free agent. He's old, he's, he's 35. 36 but he will still you know be very he'll be better in the six and Trafford at least for the next few seasons hi hey everyone welcome back I know my t-shirt's changed that's because it's the next day although you wouldn't know that because for you it's probably been a matter of seconds there is no deadline day activity this year and now we face Man City away and I don't know but I think I'd quite like to play this game to just see how it plays out Man City only have two points yeah it should be an interesting game here Obviously, I think we'd be lucky to get anything out of this game at all. And they've done it again. It's another sweaty goal. Awful. Just awful. His eyes look sad. We're now at the end of September and I'm still without a league win. I have now played six games in the league and I've drawn one. I've got one point from all that. Got our first win at the end of October. After a surprise draw to Liverpool, who were the champions last season. But it really doesn't help our case at all. We are sat in 20th. We are sat bottom of the table. We have a Man City up and Arsenal both down here as well. With interestingly Sheffield United being in the top four. Luckily in November we managed to pick up three wins on the bounce. So we now four unbeaten. Heading into a very, very congested January. A very interesting December here. Nottingham Forest beat us and ended our five game unbeaten streak. However, we then lost to Spurs and then Chelsea. We played Spurs three times in the same month. Then we beat Sheffield United 3 0. Then we beat Crystal Palace. And then we beat Tottenham in the league. So it's interesting. Going into January then, sitting quite comfortably in 14th. After being bottom a few months ago, we're now a few points clear of the drop. 
January was very positive again, only losing one game um, as well, getting through the cup. I believe that's the Carabao Cup semi final, so I think we may be in the finals. No incomings or outgoings in January. And in going into February, we our league position is looking quite strong actually. Nine, we're ninth place. Um, not too many points off Champions League. So you know we could always try and possibly push up there for that Champions League place. February is a very busy month then. <laughs> Two games, well three if you include the cup final. One of them a 3-1 loss to Chelsea and one of them a 4-1 win against Leicester. Looking like this may be the only trophy I will win all season. So we're going to have to um, have to try our best. But Newcastle take the lead early on here. Through Lamar, Aguirre finds space on the left. There's no one inside. He's going to have to do it on his own here and he does. It's 1-1. Found the goal to level it here. Good save from Trafford to deny Newcastle at the death. Interestingly, the goalkeeper hasn't come up. I thought he would have done. It's going to be the last chance of the game here. And it's typical. That is just typical. I've never seen a more FIFA goal than that. And then we've lost. His eyes look sad. Even though he lost to Newcastle in that month, a 3-2 win against Man City in two draws is still pretty good. Meaning, at the end of March, we still sit ninth. April so far, very, very poor month. Not even getting a single point. We still don't. Not a single point. Well, that brings us to the end of the season now. At the end of May, we managed to win one, draw one, and lose one. April, though, after such a disappointing month, we finish the season in 13th place. We avoid relegation in our final season. We didn't manage to win the Champions League. However, we managed to take Sutton from League 2, from near relegation in League 2, to a comfortab to comfortably sign up in the Premier League on 48 points. And that, I feel, must be commended, especially since at the beginning of the season we'd lost six of our first six games. However, on that note, I'm going to call it there for this episode. That is the end of episode 7. Episode 8 will be a look through all the previous you know things all the previous seasons um yeah but i really hope you've enjoyed this series it's been so fun to make i've enjoyed making it so much as well um and yeah don't forget to like subscribe um as i'm gonna start uploading more now hopefully uh, what what i'm gonna be uploading i'm not quite sure whether that's fifa content or other content um but yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace.